I'm Rinske Stevens and today I would like to make a tissue box with you. Um, first of all, I tell you what you need to start with. Of course, you need the kit to make the tissue box. You need a piece of fabric, 15 centimeters. You need a brush, a roller, a tray and book binding glue, a pair of good cutting scissors, a rubber hammer if you want to put on ends, a roll of masking tape, and again, the glue. So let me tell you what is in your kit. There's all the cardboard parts, and of course some instructions for you. If you are not watching this YouTube video, you can read the instructions as they come in your kit. They are in English, so that should be no problem. Okay, in your kit we have one part A, two parts B, two parts C, and one part D. So, this is what we're going to make. And as you see the parts, you can see that A, B and C will make the box. And then D, that's the thinner part of cardboard, that's going to be the outside lid to cover up everything. Okay, so let me show you how we do it. First, we're going to build together the box. And there's always um, the B part being exactly the same size as the A part. And we're going to glue these two together. In order to do that properly, we uh, use masking tape and we just put on two small strips. On part B, we are going to hold up part A, apply some glue to the smaller edge. Don't put on too much, but not too little. And you put on part B and you find the corners. So be sure it fits on there perfectly. And then you pull down the straps of masking tape. You put your prepared part in front of you. And now you apply glue to the side of part B and the longer side of A. And you will see when you put on too much glue that once you press part C on top of it, it will come out on the sides and that's no problem. So here you're going to start on the edge in the corner. So this is going to make it a 90 degree angle. If you fit it on here perfectly, you fit the sides here and the sides there. And when they're all in place, you take your masking tape and you put down some strips to hold the parts together whilst drying. Now you can turn it around. You're always going clockwise, so never do two opposite sides um, at the time. And then you apply glue to the inner strip of the part C, which is slightly bigger than the bottom part of the tissue box. And that's exactly what we need it to be, because here is going to be the next part B. And you will see that it fits in here perfectly. It's exactly the three millimeters width, which we needed to put in this part. Again, we put masking tape and the same here. Now I can show you when the glue comes out, you just swipe it off and rub it onto your um, magazine or your block, what's underneath you. Now we have three sides remaining and that's gonna be to put on the last part C. So we apply glue and put the last part C fitting on the corners exactly. Remove the glue that's coming out on the sides and then use masking tape to secure the parts. So actually, the base, is your, uh, the base of your box is now ready and we're gonna let it dry. Okay, let's continue with part D. Part D 
is going to be the top of the tissue box where the paper comes out. Um, and we're going to make this tissue box in just one uh, sort of fabric. So we will take the strip of 15 centimeter, which is six inches wide, and we're going to put the D part on top of it. And then we're going to leave two centimeters, more or less three quarter of an inch, um, seam allowance around the part, and we cut the fabric so we don't have too much fabric next to us. Also, we are going to remove the self edge. It's always a little bit thicker than the rest of the fabric. So we're going to take that away too. Now we put the prepared piece of fabric next to us. We put our cardboard piece D on top of the magazine or the block you're using uh, as surface, so you don't make your table uh, messy. And we're going to use the roller for the first time today. When you use it for the first time, you dip it into the glue, you roll it, and you will see that the glue is dividing itself over the roller, over the foam roller. So you roll it, and then you have glue everywhere. And now we're going to apply the glue just as if you would be painting. It's very easy, and the nice thing about it is that it divides the glue evenly. When you lift it up, we're going to turn the page. So next time we have a clean surface to work on. We put the fabric in front of us and put part D on top. Now we turn over. We did that on the wrong side of the fabric, of course. And now with our fingers, we are going to see if all the air bubbles and wrinkles have gone. So that looks very nice. Now we turn it back over, we take our scissors and we are going to cut straight towards the cardboard. And we do that on all, all four angles. Okay, so on the corners, we cut straight towards the cardboard. And then also from the other side, we cut in a straight line and your fabric will fall out. That's what we do. Okay, now we, now we can uh, glue the first two sides to the cardboard. And where possible, you always apply glue to the cardboard. If it's not possible, apply it to the fabric, but preferably to the cardboard. And you lift up your fabric and press it over to the cardboard. And of course, to the second part, you do the same. You apply the glue to the cardboard and you flip over the fabric and stick it onto the back side of the cardboard part. Okay, those were the two smaller sides of the D part. Now, from the longer sides, we are going to cut diagonal. And when you do this, you are going to leave just one millimeter straight. We're going to show you that later in a close-up. Of course, here too, you apply glue to the cardboard. And what I like to do is put a little bit of glue on the corner sides of the fabric to be sure that I have glue on every side of that corner. Of course, I turn the page. And now we move the fabric to the other side of the cardboard and stick it right on there. Okay, so like we did before, we cut diagonal, but we leave one millimeter, which is about 1 16th of an inch straight. That's gonna cover your cardboard afterwards. So once again, we cut diagonal, leaving one millimeter straight here, which is going to cover up your cardboard corner. To open up the opening to get your tissues out, we make a little hole in the middle of the fabric and we cut 
all the way along, starting about half an inch or a centimeter from the side. Now we put in the scissors and we cut right into the corner. And we do that on each side. So now you can see what's happening. We can glue these sides to the inside of the cardboard. And again, of course, we use the cardboard to apply the glue to. And you just go through with your fingers and apply the fabric to the cardboard. And you do that on all sides. So we finished the top part of the tissue box and we're going to put that aside just for the time being. Now we continue with the box itself. In the meantime it has dried so now we can remove all the masking tapes. Okay, once you removed all the masking tape, because if you leave it underneath you are going to feel it through your fabric because your fabric is going to be on the, on the box as flat as possible. So we had this strip of fabric prepared and we cut off a little piece for the top. Now with the remains of the strip of fabric, I'm going to show you it's going to be just fine to cover your whole box with. You see? That's enough. So to cover the outside of the tissue box, we are going to start with one centimeter seam allowance on the back side of the tissue box. So you can decide which of these two sides is going to be the back side. But once you start here, this is going to be your back side because you will have a seam allowance in it afterwards. So you put your strip of fabric on this one centimeter, leaving about three quarters of an inch on this side about two centimeters. And what's left over of the strip, you're going to leave on the open side of the box. Once you applied it, you can put your tissue box in front of you. And you will see the uh, glue is already holding the fabric in place. And now again with the roller, make sure you divide your glue. Uh, you can apply the glue to the next side be sure to touch every piece of cardboard and you just flip over your fabric with your hand. You smoothen it and you see to it that there's no wrinkles or air bubbles left. You put your tissue box in front of you, flip over the fabric, apply glue to the roller and again roll your next side with glue. You can see how easy this is. Again, you put your fabric on here. You see that I don't stretch it, I just put it on there. And now you see what's happening. This is the middle fold of the fabric. Normally, you, can e you can't even uh, get rid of it when you iron the um, uh, fabric. But look what the glue does. It's gone. Okay, third side. And again, we apply glue and flip over the fabric. Now for the last side, you see the uh, piece of fabric uh, is a little bit too big. Um, also, uh, if we would glue the fabric here and cut it away, what we do in other boxes, uh, there's no way to hide this back side because you can look around your tissue box on every side. So we want to have a very nice ending. So what we do, we know where the side of the tissue box is and we are going to make a fold in there. So first of all, I um, cut away all the excess fabric and I leave about one centimeter uh, on the, on the um, side which I want to fold in. So now I can fold the fabric back, make a seam. And as you can see, I fold it back 
slightly to the inside of the ending. Because if we are going to glue this part afterwards, you will see what's going to happen. It moves up a couple of millimeters. So that's what we do. We make a fold in the fabric. We put it back and we are going to glue this part. And if you put your fabric on your tissue box like this, you know exactly which part you have to glue. There's no use in gluing the other sides. You fold it back, press it, and there's your part. Now you can proceed like you did before. You apply glue to your roller. You apply glue to the whole back side, also the first centimeter of a seam allowance, which you started the box with. And you put over this part and press it towards the end. And now you can see you have this very nice finishing over here. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to cut very straight cuts towards the cardboard corner. In order to do that properly, you can lift up the fabric, pull a straight line towards the cardboard side, make a little fold, and then cut along the fold until your scissor meets the cardboard. And we're going to do this on all four sides. Down, at the bottom of the box, and we're going to do the same on the top of the box. As you see, when I open up the fabric, here's your seam allowance, the first centimeter you started with. You can cut that away, we're not needing that anymore. And also this seam, you can cut along the side, along the fold, and then cut away the fabric you're not needing to make, um, to make it smoother around the corner and to have a little bulk of fabric. So, we're going to proceed at the top, the closed end. We're going to do exactly the same. We're going to cut in a straight line towards the cardboard corner. Here's your beginning and ending again. And again, we're going to cut here too. And there. So, here again, you can cut away the centimeter we started with and we can open up the fabric seam allowance and cut that away too. So, once you have all the eight corners cut up in a straight line, we are going to glue two opposite sides, just how they are. No more cutting, just apply glue to the cardboard. And then put your fabric on top of it. And we do the same for the other side. So always in opposite sides. And um, if, if you wouldn't do that, you don't get a very clean end result. So now we have done the first, first two sides. Now we're going to cut diagonal from the cardboard, so you don't have to leave any um, fabric straight in a straight line. You just cut diagonal like this, straight up to the cardboard corner. So once again, directly from the cardboard, cut diagonal. And the same here. As you see, I don't use a lot of glue, but what is important that you have glue everywhere where you want to glue the fabric to the cardboard. If you don't have glue underneath, you will end up with wrinkles or air bubbles, which is not very nice. So, that was the top. Now let's proceed with the bottom. 
Also, these sides are uh, cut open so we can open up the fabric. And as you see, the cardboard um, edges are three millimeters. As you see, the edges of the um, uh, cardboard are not very thick. They're three millimeters, which is about one eighth of an inch. Um, and to get the fabric into the side of the box on a very nice way, we are going to cut one eighth of an inch, so three millimeters, from the cardboard and only one eighth of an inch cut. And we do that on all four sides. Here again, it's the opposite sides. And now you can see what happens when I put it into the box. This part will cover the cardboard and the other part will cover the inside side of your box. Let's glue them in. And the tissue box is almost the only box where the fabric does not go all the way to the bottom of the box because afterwards we're going to put in a tissue box and you are not going to see the inside of this box. So we thought it of no use to cover it up with fabric. Okay, again here. You press it on the edge of the, of the cardboard and you push your fabric inside. And you can see how amazing this glue is. Okay, let's proceed with the other sides. On the other two opposite sides, we are going to cut away actually the same width of the cardboard, which is one eighth of an inch or three millimeters. So we're going to start here and cut away the strip. You stop three millimeters or one eighth of an inch before the cardboard and then the last three millimeters are cut diagonal like this. This means when we glue this part into the box this will have a nice ending on the side of the corner and you will be able to get your fabric right into the side of your box. Let's do it again. And we do the same thing for the opposite side of the box. In order to glue this to the inside of the box, you will see that if I, if I would enter with my brush and would just glue everything, I would touch the sides of the nice fabric. So this is one of the first sides where I glue on the fabric and not on the cardboard. So with my brush, I try and touch the first top of the cardboard and the fabric. Then I take my roller and I roll from the box towards the outside. Lift up my box, turn the page of course, and I can put the fabric in. And you will see it fits in there exactly. So we do the same for the other side. We apply glue to the cardboard side of the fabric and then roll the rest of the fabric with glue like this. If you have some threads, take them away before you glue the part inside because you are going to see them in the end. And then you flip over the fabric and press it to the inside of the box. You have probably noticed you have finished the outside of your box. So now we have only a few more things to do because you can see this top will fit on here exactly. So we're going to glue that on. But of course, at this stage, you can decide if you want to put metal corners on the corners of your box, which would make it nicer. So as I said, you could use some metal ends 
on the outside lid of your um, tissue box. So when it drops down, you know they are uh, protected. Well, we use the small size. And when you put on um, ends to your cardboard, always be sure to have the nice side facing up and then the open side on the corners uh, is the side where you are going to hit with your rubber hammer. This is your rubber hammer and when you have the corner on, this, on the place where you want to have it, you just hit it a few times and you can see that the metal is um, bending over to the side of the cardboard. So now it doesn't come off again. So that's it. Now we are going to glue this part to the top of your tissue box. We are going to apply glue to the top and then put glue the uh, outside lid on top of it. In this stage, I always use a little bit more glue than what I would use when I um, apply the fabric to the boxes because this is the only thing that's going to hold these two parts together. Again, be sure to have glue everywhere, just like this. And then you put your top of the tissue box exactly fitting the box below and you press the top to the box. So actually you could say it's finished but if you want to make it even prettier or your style you can start to decorate with for instance um, a piece of lace around your tissue box. You could even um, glue some nice buttons to it or you know anything you would like to do. But I'm choosing to put some lace to the outside and then I start on the back side of the box. I know it's the back side because I have my seam allowance here and I can feel that because it's just slightly thicker. And I start in the middle of the box and I'm going to apply a little bit of the book binding glue and stick my ribbon right on top of it. And I'm gonna do the same for every side. And stick it on like that. And the last side. So when you want to glue buttons to your uh, box, if they are wood, you can use this glue, but if they're from plastic, I'm going to tell you this glue does not hold on plastic. And if you watch the instructions on how to clean your gear, you can see why, because it doesn't hold on the tray either once it's dry. Okay, so when we finish this uh, piece of ribbon, we're going to cut it exactly where we started and then meet the ends so it doesn't show where we started or where we ended. So, actually it's finished. The only thing you need now is to have a tissue box. And what you do, you pull out the first tissue and then you move the box inside to your tissue box, pull out the tissue and there you go. So once your box is empty, you press out the tissue box, you put a new one in and you can have your box for years. Thank you for watching.